Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. In our previous video, we discussed uh, how do we export results uh, from Stata into Excel or a Word format. And in our previous video, we discussed about the regression results. But in this one, we are going to talk about uh, summary statistics, uh, mean comparison, that is t-tests. And then we're going to talk about uh, one-way and two-way tabulation. So how do we get the results of these analysis uh, from Stata to, to a Word or an Excel file. Now we are going to you install this uh, command that we had been working on since our previous video, which is EST out. Uh, so I have already installed it, so I'm not going to install it. But if you haven't, uh, you can install it using SSC install EST out command. And let's load our data. So we are going to use this uh, auto data, which contains different cars, their price, mileage, their uh, weight and length. And uh, let's start with our first topic. That would be how to export these summary statistics from Strata. Now there are different kinds of commands when we call an E-class or an R-class command. So E-class commands are estimation commands like regression, etc. But then there are R-class commands like uh, summary statistics, uh, correlations, tabulations. Uh, we have a whole video on uh, how E-class and R-class commands work and how do we access their statistics, but that is what we're going to talk about in this video. Uh, so, in, in regression, we used the EST store and EST tab. Uh, but instead of uh, using EST store for the summary statistics or tabulations, we're going to use the EST post command. And uh, that is again uh, from the family of EST out commands. Uh, but, but there were different commands. And so we're going to use EST post instead of EST out. So what we do is uh, when we want to summarize certain statistics, what we do is we, we use summary statistics, right? Uh, so we use the, the command summarize and then the name of the variable that we want to summarize and we get our summary statistics. So what we do is uh, we add this EST post command before our summary statistics command. And what that would do is uh, it would generate the same statistics, but that it would also store them. Uh, in status memory, and we can use them and uh, convert them into a word format. So remember, EST tab did two kind of things. It displayed the data in status uh, in status output window, and it it can also be used to export it uh, in a word format. So first we would we would like to display it, and then we would move forward. So uh, to display this uh, summary statistics, what we do is we use this comma for. for so, so that we can use options. So we're going to use the cells option and uh, what the cells option would do is we would supply certain statistics that we want to uh, export. So in this case, we want to uh, have counts, mean, standard deviation, minimum and maximum. Okay, so, uh, so, so we get our statistics. Now, uh, if you if you were to use some other statistics, then we can use the other options. Uh, so uh, okay, but what what other statistics can we use? We can look into EST post, and we have over here these statistics, right? We can use count, mean, minimum, maximum, sum. Uh, then we can use these percentiles, P50 stands for median, we can have skewness earned catharsis, but you can see how it is mentioned that detail only. And what that means is that when we use summarize command, we can use it in two ways. Uh, the first one is we just summarize, uh, let's just say price, and that gives us certain statistics, but we can have more statistics by using the detail option. And that would give us the, the 10 percentile, the first percentile, the median, uh, the skewness, kurtosis, variance, etc. Now, what it is saying is that um, if you want to access these details, uh, then you would have to use the detail option when you are going to use this summarize command. So what we do is we use this detail option and then we do this EST post command again. And now if we were to use skewness in this uh, EST tab, then we would get 
the skewness. Be without that, it would not give us skewness. Now, if you were to export this, then again, that is simple. Uh, let's call it uh, results.rtf and let's export that. And this is how it would look like. Now, we, we are going to work with uh, with different formatting, but I just wanted to let you know that you can simply export this uh, these results. Okay, so uh, there is also this list wise or case wise option, and uh, uh, let me just summarize. Uh, let me just so show you the summary statistics uh, that we generated previously, and you can look at, over this repair variable which have sixty nine observations. Now, uh, this mean of $6,165 uh, price is for 74 observations. And that also includes the observations that for which repair 78 is missing. But usually when we, uh, when we have this summary statistics in our, in our publications, then uh, we just use all those cases, all those rows, all those observations where all the variables are uh, available. So that is what is called a case wise or list wise. List wise. So when we use this list wise option, right, um, with the ST post, what that would do is it would just uh, create the mean, etc., um, statistics for just the observations where all the data is available for all the variables that we have used in our summarize command. And again, we can obviously uh, generate our EST tab. Now remember we can, uh, uh, we can also use this no ob, uh, obs option. And what that would do is it will remove this uh, observations from uh, from here again we can uh, not have this number using the no number uh, option uh, and we can remove this m titles uh, using no m titles right we can also generate summary statistics uh, for different group of variables so for example over here we have this uh, domestic and foreign uh, uh, category uh, which shows us whether a car is domestically produced or produced in a foreign country. And what we want is we want some statistics for each of that category separately. And what we can do is we can use this by and then the name of the variable for which we want uh, the, the categorical variable for which we want this separate summary statistics. We are going to use this EST store command and then EST port. So that gets complicated, but you just have to uh, memorize that aspect. Uh, we use that and we get uh, the summary statistics for domestic and for the foreign cars separately. And now we can, uh, you know, let's just say, just get the mean and the standard deviation. Uh, we can have labels instead of name of the variables and we can not have these dependent variables, right? And that way we would get uh, the category's name instead of dependent variable. Obviously, I have discussed how do we remove this numbers by using no number option. Uh, so this is the mean for domestic uh, cars, and then this is the standard deviation for the domestic cars. Then we have mean and standard deviation for the foreign cars. Let's move to the second topic, which is how do we export the results of uh, mean comparison tests? So let's just say if we wanted to perform certain t-test. Uh, we have t-test over here. We click on statistics. Uh, then we go off to classical test of hypothesis. Then we have t-test. Uh, we have a whole set of video on this one. How do we uh, execute all these t-statistics and what are their interpretations? Uh, I'm just going to follow the command that I have over here. So what we want is we want to see whether there is a difference between the mean price uh, of cars for each cat. So is there a difference between the price of car, whether the car is produced uh, in a foreign country or domestically? And uh, we get a mean difference of minus 312, but it is not statistically significant. So uh, we, uh, now, now that is just for one variable, but if you wanted to compare the mileage or length uh, over certain category, we wanted to check, uh, the, do the mean comparison. So, uh, you know, the, uh, the intuition would be to just input all the variables list and then execute the t-test. But you would know that 
uh, ttest does not allow um, variable list it just allow a single variable so if you wanted to do the ttest for all these variables then you would have to use multiple uh, ttest command uh, each for each variable uh, right so this is how it would look like uh, then we would have a separate command for length uh, but it gets uh, different when you are going to use this epost command as a prefix uh, when we use epost command we can have this list so don't get that confusing because uh, in in base data it doesn't work but with epost it would work and if we do that we get the uh, the mean comparison for all uh, for all the variables uh, now this is their mean and we have this t value over here we can see that uh, the mileage and length is statistically significantly different among those category but there is no difference in the price of a foreign and a domestic car now if you if you were to uh, yes tab then we just use the command and uh, we just use this dot uh, and that would produce uh, the results we can export them obviously so this is our mean and uh, mean difference and this is our uh, t test uh, t t t uh, t value right uh, and if it is significant we get our statics over here uh, we can have this in wide format uh, so we can have a mean difference in one column and then uh, the uh, the t-test in the second column that is what we would call uh, a wide format again we can remove this number using this no number option and we can have the column title let's call it differences because these are differences uh, and this is how we can uh, export the results now remember, uh, we can use EST post uh, for producing the uh, just you know for two sample t test. Uh, but if you were to use a one sample t test or pair t test, then we cannot do uh, EST uh, EST out command. At least there isn't a simple way of using it. Uh, there is another command EST EST doc that you can use for that purpose. Uh, lastly, we're going to look into how do we use tabulations and export the results. So we have two types of tabulation. One is the one-way tabulation and the second is the two-way tabulation. If we just tabulate over foreign, so we get their frequency, how many uh, domestic cars and foreign cars do we have in our sample, their percentages, their cumulative percentages. If we were to tabulate, if we were to export that, uh, that result, what we do is we use EST port before uh, EST post before the the command, as we did with summary statistics, and then do EST tab with just a dot, and that gives us uh, you know the the frequency. Now this would just give us the frequency, but not the percentages. And percentages are important. So what we do is we have certain options. So we use the cells option, where we can have the frequency and uh, let's also give it a label so that would be a column label uh, that would be observations then we can have percentages uh, let's just have two decimal digits and let's call it uh, let's give it a column name of percentage we can have cumulative percentage uh, we would just have two decimal digits after decimal point and uh, we would call it cum percentage this would be the heading of uh, the column uh, we don't want these observations and we don't want this number over here we do not want this dependent variable so this is how it would look uh, a more presentable table and we can export this we can do that same thing using two-way tabulation so if we have two variables uh, and we perform a tabulation so we get uh, for each level of uh, for each uh, for each category of the repair record we get how many domestic and foreign cars do we have uh, we just use the est post before the command and then again the same command uh, but now we have used column percentages uh, we just we use the unstack no observation no number no dependent variable and we get our uh, two-way tabulation uh, that we can export so i hope that was useful uh, do subscribe to this channel and do hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching this video.